Hey guys, so I here bringing you another episode of Gold to Platinum. Uh, there will be an annotation somewhere on the video if you do want to skip Champion Select. I know quite a few people do, so that's an option if you want. Uh, obviously, I don't know what I'm playing. Um, obviously, you guys will because the title of the video. But we're again going to try and get Hecarim. I've been trying every game. You know, I'm saying Pref Jungle slash Top Jungle first. Trying to get it. So it's a Vi against... If I were to go Jungle, it would be a Vi against me, which is fine. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get it. Um, we'll have to see. One can hope. I guess. Or is that guy taking it? Is he taking it or is he going lane ye? Where are you going, Mr. Ye? <sighs> Come on. Pick, 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 pick. Hmm. So nobody's said anything so far. I'm the only person that said something in Champion Select. Oh, the swap. So I might be able to go Hecarim. Finally, someone donated Hecarim for me to play in the series. So we may be able to get it, which would be good. Um, so yeah. This guy is using dot, 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 dot. If he wants to go mid, he can't really say anything about it because he, he didn't say to anybody that he wanted to go mid. Um... Yeah, hopefully we can go jungle. Again, I will kind of... Okay, yeah, I am jungle. Thank God, finally, we are jungle. Cool. And ghost. <clears throat> so, heck on him. You don't want to go top lane as Katarina. That would not go well for you, my friend, in the current meta. <laughs> so we're just going to pick heck him. We are now the horse. I've got all these skins on my main account. I have no idea why, but I own every single skin for Hecarim on my main account. I don't know why. I think majority of them were from Mystery Gifts. So, yeah. Anyway, to so the guy that donated Hecarim, hopefully this will be a good video for you. Our masteries are going 2163. It's just a fairly aggressive page, which also brings a little bit of movement speed, a bit of tankiness, etc. Uh, but yeah, this video is for you because uh, there's a few people that I've kind of seen want Hecarim. Um, but yeah. So, okay, Jace picks. That basically means these guys can go top or mid. It doesn't really matter. So that's kind of funny. So that could be a Tristana mid. A lot of people have been doing it, especially in, like, LCS, which is quite annoying. Worried. Just because it's mid doesn't mean it's AP. It can definitely be AD Trist mid. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Do, 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 do. Trindomir. So my guess would be via jungle, Corky, Zyra bot lane if that stays the same way. Tristana mid and Trind um Okay, they're swapping it. That could be Cassid in top. <coughs> so the, the enemy team is quite an annoying team. Um do I want Ghost or Flash? So obviously Ghost is really good for Hecarim as Ghost actually gives him damage, but Flash is still probably the best summoner spell in the game. I'm just kind of thinking what I want to have. Janna, okay. Um, we're going to go Ghost. We're, we're going to go Ghost. We're going to see how it does. Obviously, the first thing I'll say is I'm not a Hecarim main. I've played Hecarim a bit. I remember playing it when I was in, when I was jungling for Absolute Zero. I played it a little bit, and it was a pick I was considering picking up as one of my junglers. I didn't, but it, I was considering it, so I know how to play him. Just hopefully we have a good game. Uh, Hecarim is very prone that he can snowball a game out of control. So that would be my preference in this game. Obviously, we don't have perfect runes and masteries, but that's pretty much like every game. Uh, but anyway, if you skipped Champion Select, you will end up here right now. So welcome. Uh, we are playing Hecarim. Um, obviously you'll know that by the, the vid video title. And it seems to be a Tristana mid, I would guess. Um, well, actually, maybe, yeah, Tristana mid, Corky and Zyra bot lane, Vi jungle, and potentially a Kastin top. So let's bring over OBS on OBS there, Null Nexus, and show you what we're against. So we're against a Platinum 3 main Vi, seems to be a main, she's only she's got 301 games, quite a lot of games for that rating. And then gold 4, Zyra, 
Plat 3, Trist. Plat 2, Corky. Plat 4, Cassadin. And then on my team... Uh, plat 3, Plat 3, Plat 3, me as gold one. We're on 95 points, so we're one victory away from getting into that promotion series to Platinum, and then a Platinum 3 Janna. So with my MMR, my loss like win-loss ratio, etc., we could technically lose this game, win the next one, and we probably will still go into promotion series. You know, we're, we're gaining a lot more than we're losing right now, rating terms. So... Yeah, I haven't played um, Hecarim in a while, but again, I was like in Champion Select, I was saying he was a jungler I was considering picking up uh, quite some time ago. But yeah, let's hopefully have a good game because this was donated by somebody. Uh, sorry, I don't forgot your name, but yeah, you know you know who you are. He donated um, Hecarim in order for me to play it in the series because I, I guess it's like his main or something, and he wants to see how I play it, etc. Hi Vi, how are you doing? So, Vi's got 620 health, that's a lot of health. Obviously I've only got 550. So yeah. What is Katarina's room page? Um, 24... Jesus Christ, this Jason needs to calm down. 24 AP and zero resistances on Katarina. Oh boy. Um, that's uh... Old runes. Okay, well, here's a tip for you guys. Don't go into ranked with old runes. Go into ranked with updated runes. Update your runes every often, you know, so you're not at a disadvantage. So hopefully I can snowball this game. Uh, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I was on my champion, but like a champion I personally know. Now, some people kind of say about, you know, this series, uh, but I recently got <clears throat> another smurf of mine to diamond in 54 games and um, many of you will be like whoa that's pretty quick how did you do that now the difference between that smurf and this smurf is this smurf i'm literally playing champions i don't really play that often so some of the losses i could have probably changed into wins if i played champions that i personally can carry on but because i'm you know doing this series just you know, try and do as many champions as i possibly can um, some games probably will be a loss rather than a win. If I was just playing like Nidley top or Lulu top every game, then it could be a bit different. But yeah. So yeah, it is AD Tristana mid lane. So I am correct in that regard. So obviously Voidboy was the first person to bring that out in LCS. And it is a very annoying pick um, because a lot of people are simply not used to playing against an AD in mid lane. And then Cassadin, suddenly, I don't know why, but Cassadin has become a top laner. Uh, I've seen in Challenger, you know, the Challenger NA, I think, finals are on tonight. And um, last night in the quarterfinals, I believe Cassadin was picked top lane in one of the games. So, yeah, he's becoming a top laner all of a sudden. <clears throat> so I kind of want to shut Cassadin down because it's a Cassadin. You know, if he gets ahead, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. He has got teleport as well. My Jace is going pretty aggressive, but that's fine. Let's see if I can get a kill. So Vi could be in the area. I have to be a bit careful with this. Okay. Apply the red buff. Run out of Vi's range. So I get nice damage. I also get his flash, which is pretty big. Okay. Vi is here. So she's maybe in this area by the time I get there. So we may have a little fight. I have to be careful because Katarina is getting a bit bullied in the early game. Like I'd expect, you know, what is Katarina really going to do in the early stages? The only thing I'll say, if Katarina manages to survive the lane phase... Don't steal that. Thank you. Oh, that was close. I had to pop ghost. Vino flash. I can't gank right now, Trist. Kind of nearly dead. Right. Buy this, some of them, and even a mana potion. Because when blue buff runs out, you'll actually find that Hecarim goes oom fairly quickly if you're not careful. I want to help Karina, but this is why Tristana works in lane so easily. is She's very hard to gank. She's got that jump. Yeah, I know you need help. But right now, I'm not going to be the best use for you. But we will try. Oh, hello.
Get out of my jungle. So I've got to back off because that Karina's crazy. Bot lane seems to be trading quite well. Top lane, I'd give that lane to Jace because he's got the auto attack advantage. I'm going to do this camp and then try to gank for mid lane. Ugh. One thing, if you're in mid lane, you don't need to constantly spam, or just in general, you don't need to spam, you know, the, the, the jungler to gank for you. The jungler's job is not to win your lane for you. The jungler's job is to take in consideration every lane and pick where he wants to try and get ahead and where he thinks the the most or the biggest chance to actually get a kill is. And I'm going to go try to gank mid. <clears throat> there you go, first blood. Wait for her to get around the tower. She's actually basing. Okay. Yeah, I'm right here. I want her to kind of bait. Hit her in mid air. I want to get her flash. Flash and heal. That was pretty good. Someone died. Oh, 300 ping. So I'm going to loop around back for the Tristana. So the one thing with Hecarim, and you have to remember with jumps in League of Legends. Oh boy. I can get away. She doesn't have flash. So there's this, this Vi seems to be kind of shadowing me in the jungle right now, which, yeah, is kind of a Vi thing to do. Like, look, she's even trying to find me in my own jungle. Like, she thinks I'm on walls right now. She's, like, what Vi is trying to do is desperately find me and kill me, just one-on-one. -on -one. That is what her goal is at the moment for herself. Which is fairly annoying to deal with, but whatever. We shall hopefully prevail. Uh, buy the boots... Where's some of them? Okay. Oh, that Katarina, uh, that Tristana mucked up. Okay, she still goes down, but Katarina, I, I think I was trying to say this earlier, but I got cut off by something. Katarina can kill, her brilliant at killing squishy targets. That's kind of what a Katarina does. So there's Vi, she probably did my wolves. Um, she's very good at killing squishy targets. And obviously Tristana is an AD carry, squishy target. So when Katarina, yeah, she did it. When Katarina gets maybe a little bit more like DFG, etc., um, you know, she'll probably be okay. Now, bot lane is the lane that is suffering at the moment. So, yeah. So if you have a be very unstable connection, um, don't go into ranked. That's all I kind of have to say to that. You know, it's... Uh, if you have an unsteady connection, yeah, sorry for you, etc. And I, I've been there. I've had a bad connection once in my time. Um, but I, I played ranked. I didn't play ranked when I knew I was going to put my team at a disadvantage. You know, you're you're putting yourself at a disadvantage with bad internet connection, and you're also putting your teammates. And that's kind of a scumbag move. So I think I can leave Jace to do whatever Jace is kind of doing. This should be spawning. There we go. I keep forgetting I can check up here. Because it's all brand new. i got to be careful that Vi doesn't try to come. Because right now Vi is stronger than me. 100%. I'd love to get Katarina ahead. And look, she's already trying to... Or nearly killing. Ooh, bait. Bait, 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 bait. How did that... Okay, nice! Awesome! So yeah, I want to get my Katarina head because my Katarina could probably one-shot the AD or the whoever uh, she wants later in this game. Okay, they guys did not move. Can't really gank a lane if they don't move for it. But yeah. Like, I don't know if Jinx is still lagging or anything, so... Jay seems to be still doing quite well. Them guys are going to be careful of them sitting in this bush because a Zyro, etc. will probably kill them. I could have done Dragon right there, but I wanted to try and get a bot lane gank in, and unfortunately that didn't work out. So, yeah, I could have done it, but I did not get it done. So that was really nice by Katarina. Getting that double kill was pretty big. Um, awesome. So apparently Jinx is just standing there, and she's left the game. Excellent.
So again, do not join ranked if you have a bad internet connection or anything like that. I understand it's not fair and you'd love to play ranked sometimes, but you're just going to lose the game that, you know, is your internet's fault in a way. Um, so don't put yourself in that situation. Just don't play. Stop using that term. Jesus. Why do you have to use that term? Of all terms, that's such an awful term to use. Wait, I didn't base. What the hell stopped me? I have no idea. Calm down, Janna. Like, ugh. So I'm going to have to go bot lane. For a while, hopefully my team can last out. Like, Katarina again sh can probably kill Tristana if she plays it well enough. I'm kind of hoping for them to, uh, them to dive, Janna. It's kind of my dream right now while I'm riding down, or, you know, running down to bot lane. They decide to dive her. And I'm in the area to clean up. That would be lovely. So I'm kind of just waiting around. Like, I'm not going to show because, again, I want them to dive her. Um... Best, best, best. Back off. We did enough. We did enough. We did enough. That was really nice. We did a lot of damage. Nearly got the Zyra kill, but just doesn't don't have enough damage. Katarina killed Thingy, but then Vi turns up. That's bad timing. But still, you know, she's killing her one on one. So that's kind of what we want. Careful. You don't want to get too low. Okay. Don't rage. Fire your rocket. Fire rocket. Fire your rocket. Fire your rocket. Ugh. If she fired her rocket, we may have been able to get a kill. Oh, wait, she's not level 6. Wait, is she? Wait, she is. Did she fire it and it just missed? Oh, my God, really? Oh well. <laughs> Ugh, this is frustrating. This Janna needs to calm down though. Like what she's doing is literally not giving us any type of advantage. She's just like bringing the morale down if anything. Calm down. Damn. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Like, one stupid thing is telling people that you're 4v5. Because then they'll go rush Dragon. Like, Dragon's now done. If they know that someone's not here, they're going to take the advantages that they can get. So never tell them that you're 4v5. That's just stupid. And now my blue's gone. <clears throat> well played. Oh... So I moved out of the way. That was a really bad tornado. Okay. Somewhere in our jungle, there is a Vi. She's over there, she's over there. Nice. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. Oh, I didn't see the corky in time. Damn it. Free kill, free kill, 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 kill. Come on, Jinx. Do something. Nice, we got one. Vi actually survived. <laughs> wow. That was my error as well because I didn't see Jinx, uh, thingy corky enough. I was too focused on Vi and I think I was just getting attacked. Let's play. It's like, stop the talking and chat ain't gonna do anything. Playing the game is what makes you win. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So there goes mid tower, but again, that's kind of expected because of the uh, the auto attack difference in the champions is obviously quite a bit. 
But yeah, we've had an okay game, okay game so far on Hecarim. Um, I don't think I could have done much different. Obviously, we have this Vi that's kind of like living in our jungle a little bit, trying to find me, trying to take my camps. But I've had to deal with a bit of, obviously, lag issues with Jinx. So, I don't know. I think we're doing okay, um, considering everything. I think Dragon's probably gone again. But I don't think we can team fight right now. So, Jace can get that. That's a free kill. I don't know what Katarina, uh, Zyra's doing. Like, you're just giving a free kill to our uh, hyper carry. Yeah, they've done dragon again, 100%. Oh, they just did it. Okay, I'm going to go look for Vi in the jungle. Oh well. So Vi must have base straight away. Vi's at wolves. Jay says to be careful, he's actually alone. Let Jinx, like, we just need to let Jinx farm. It's the best thing to do right now. Which he can't do. Janna needs to stay with Jinx. But this Janna's a bit of a rager, so I don't know if she will. Wasn't there? Jinx? Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, why did she back off when I went in? Uh, nice. At least the team's doing well. Uh, come on, Jace. Come on, Jace. Nice. Nice heal by Janna. There's a vial, but they should be able to kill her, honestly. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Well played, team. Just unfortunate, really, about this jinx. But what can you do? No point raging about something you can't control. That guy's there. If jinx had rocket now, but she doesn't. Oh, well. But yeah, that was unfortunate. I went in to go on the corky, and jinx was going out, I guess. So, maybe she had a lag spike at that time. <laughs> we probably could have picked up the kill if we were coordinated, but... Obviously, that did not happen. Okay, I'm going to run up to top lane, hopefully save the tower. The one thing with Hecarim is a lot of it is, like, learning where you can E from. It's like Rammus, like, learning where you can actually start your power ball to get the maximum speed. I don't know that. As um, Hecarim, you know, I don't play enough Hecarim to kind of know, oh, I can start my E now and I'll be able to end up here, you know. This is something I don't know. Uh, they're all going to go for the blue buff, so we may be able to catch them out. Catch. I got it. She actually smited a little, a little wolf. So I'm just trying to get as strong as possible. I've got a fairly big damage build, which my next item will be... Um, come on, minions. Do my bidding. <laughs> so I do a lot of damage. That's one thing to say. Hecarim does a lot of damage if you build him in the damage way. Can't engage right now. Obviously, I used ult to kill Vi, but killing Vi is a pretty big thing because their Vi is actually well. She's actually not that strong. She's weaker than I thought. I thought she was doing well, but she's zero. Oh, I know why. She's not doing well, and then she's building damage. Like, 
only build damage if you are ahead, really. And even though I was just got like even in kills and deaths now, I had an okay assist ratio. Like I've been involved. Fifteen. Oh, that's a problem. Come on, Jace. Do. We overstayed. That was a terrible jinx rocket. Mm. Damn it. Yeah, we overstayed a little bit. We don't need to surrender. Just need to play it a bit better. Ooh, they may go barren, maybe. I don't know. They don't really have actually a tank to tank it, so I don't think so. Now that I think of it, we may be able to clean up here. Especially, like, if I can get in there with Ghost and Ultimate. Uh, no. We lack the damage to actually kill the Nasher, because our Jinx is so far behind. Like, if she was ahead, sure. But she's going to do very little damage. Going to just take another point in W to for survivability. Let me see if I can go kill her. See, look at that damage. That was really nice. I want to kind of have a flanking position on Hecarim, but it will take too long. Dragon. Don't overstay. Like, don't, when you get an objective, be happy kind of with what you get. Don't be alone. It's like road safety. Don't be alone. Look both ways. Can we all come dragon, please? Guys? Oh, it's not even up. What the hell? I thought it was up. Okay, it's not that. We can look for an engage. Hmm. Where are they? They're probably all like waiting in this bush. Okay, they're down. Well, there's Cassidy. Yeah, I think they're literally all probably all around there. I'm going to go back to farming then. Okay. So this is a bit of a weird Mexican standoff. Corky. Eh, Corky's build's alright. Vice finished her Triforce. Like me, she's very squishy, but she'll do a lot of damage. We have a weak Jinx. Go, go, go. <sighs> Thought someone would have stopped her then, but no, 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 no. We need more people here. When Katarina gets closer, we can engage. And if Jace gets back in time, oh, I would be careful. Vise here. Alright, I did a lot of damage, so hopefully they can finish the rest. You see, Trisana is absolutely wrecking, but our Katarina is wrecking! Nah, we just. Jinx doesn't do anything right now. We need to let Jinx farm. She's too weak right now. Because they have two AD carries. Both have actually relatively good strength. They're Corky strong, they're Trista strong. We just we don't have an AD carry right now. 
So that is pretty much the big difference. Uh, I would probably say she missed. Mm. I won't be able to catch her in time. Jason and Katarina have to carry this. Like, I can do damage, but I'm building tank now because I am I die straight away. Why so squish? Because I was trying to build up a lead. I was building a lead in the early game. B... Damn, I actually died that slow. Just wrecked me. Come on, cat. Ooh, look at that damage. Come on. Wait, someone needs to be here. Someone needs to be here. Why are they here? You're just giving him kills. Think about what you're doing. <laughs> <coughs> someone needs to go back. You're, uh, them running into that base was like, okay, they get the kill, but that was such a big mistake. Oh boy. So this Corky wasn't involved in that team fight, but he is still being annoying. He just got the in hib. So yeah, he's being annoying. Like he got that. So that's going to delay us a bit. I'm just going to check that, yeah, if he's there. That was a mistake by us actually going there. Corky is really strong. Why didn't she E? No, don't split. They should have stayed grouped. E? Jinx? Nope. Okay. That was a mistake by Katarina. Oh, maybe he wasn't. They can maybe clean. Nice. Well done. Okay, that was good. But again, now they've they've got another AD carry and another lane doing the exact same thing Corky was doing, getting more towers. Like that's the one thing we're lacking right now, is towers. Jace got the kill. Corky well played. They have to be careful of Trist, Just like jumping down and killing everything, which she just did. Where? Where did he die? There. Oh, he didn't base. Yeah, this Katarina is, like, winning us the game. Well, potentially winning us the game. How's Jinx doing? She's got an IE, she's got a Zeal and a Vamp. Give her them. Um, and she's still miles behind. She's getting back into it, though. See positives, I guess. Um, I can't be far out. I don't want to kill these, but if I get caught, that's a free Baron for them. Like this is the stage where, although like I want to get this tower as a jungler, I can't be down bot lane because that will just give them a free Baron. Okay, farm these. So I have no idea where the enemy team is right now. Okay, they're they're around this area. Hello. Corky's bottom lane. We should like look for a fight. A like, perfect situation right but right now would be them to try and kill Jace, like Vi and everybody like that. That would be brilliant. Someone needs to stay with someone. Needs to go bot.
it's corky. So goddamn annoying. Oh boy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna die. I got a triple kill though. Oh balls! Did Corky kill Jace? That's bad. Who can kill Corky? Oh, he's being annoying. This Corky. <laughs> <laughs> but that was really nice by us. He's going to go for the other, other inhib, maybe. Ugh. Stop him. No, don't let him get it. Don't let him get it. Katarina can kill him. Bye-bye. Nice. Right, we need to clear bot lane, get it pushing, but it's... It's never going to push, but we need to kind of get in a stage that Corky just can't walk back in here. So this is... Okay, Jinx is there. Cool. Don't really need to be there. So Katarina, it, I have, I'm going to honour this cat. She's playing very well. She's got us on her backs right now. Yeah, bot, bot should be our objective, but Baron is up. If they kill Cassidy in here, we can do Baron. There's his flash as well. Come on, cat. Help me do this. We can do this, Jace. Oh, I'm running. No, I'm not. I would love to do that, but... If she doesn't base right now, we can actually get a couple kills. Help me do this. No, 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 back. Jesus Christ. Why can't we just do Baron? Uh, that was a free Baron or a free team fight. They're not going to do it. They don't have... Thingy. Oh, he took it. That cat probably has like a million gold. Just let her go back. I'm going to quickly push bot. Because bot is in trouble. Be careful in mid lane. Double supers. Ooh. These are annoying. Now, the annoying thing with the enemy team is usually, you know... You'd build just normal resistance, etc. And I'd love to do that, but... Uh, uh, uh. Alright. I can get there in time. I am a Hecarim. Okay, come on. Trist, 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 Trist. Come on, Jace. Come on, Jace. Cure, 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 you can kill it. No. Damn it. And then bot lane. This is hard. Wait, no one I'm. So many threats. Somehow my PC lagged out. Ugh. God damn. So we have thingies on there. Okay, they're in Hib just spawned. They get in Hibs again, but 
They have 280 carries. That means nothing. That means nothing. Uh, squishy. <coughs> I don't think she got that. Okay, she did get that in here, but damn. Ugh. If, yeah, if our Jinx was stronger, then this would be no problem. What? My build's fine. The one thing my build didn't kind of see was having no AD carry. My build is a snowballing, a snowballing build. If I get ahead, I'll stay ahead. But, you know. They're going to get Dragon. Corky's bottom lane again. They're probably not even going to try and 5v5 teamfight us, like, ever anymore. Because they probably know they, they will lose a 5v5 teamfight if we do it correctly. <sighs> Which is frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of got to wait for inhibs to come up. They're going to go top lane now. Yeah, they're 100% going top because they want all the inhibs, etc. Yep. That's where they're going. Okay, buy this. And that puts me at 40%, I think. Okay, 39.45. Why did they roam out? That was so dumb. That's just like maybe lost the game. I don't understand why they were there. What the hell? I'm going to report this Janna because she's been really toxic, probably is the right word. Like, just generally toxic. It's really irritating. I don't think... Oh, the double AD carry is so irritating too. We need our Jinx to kind of wave clear here. They're quite low. But luckily Hecarim is amazing at like wave clearing. Nice, you got a kill. I've got a wave. We got a wave clear minions at this stage. I don't know what this Jace is doing. Like, just shut up, Jana. You're not helping. Oh well, we tried our best. They just got a bit too far ahead and Jinx got a bit too far behind. Oh well. So, like I said at the beginning, it, well, I think I said it, because we're on 95 LP with our MMR, we can lose this game and then win the next one and we should still be in promotion series. So, we hopefully are still one win away. Um, but yeah. This, I don't think this Jinx has hit one rocket either, which... Ugh. Ain't good. Hey, she got a kill. Oh well. Is it over? Yeah. GG. So anyway, this has been Hecarim. To the guy that donated it, sorry that we lost it. You know, I wanted to get a win for you. I played okay, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So goodbye.